the idea of today is uh, we are actually uh, going to showcase a demo, right? Uh, on uh, Scratch, uh, somewhat similar to what uh, we did on one of our previous webinars. Uh, so this is for you all to uh, understand that uh, we, uh, our platform, Tutopia, uh, is actually launching uh, one to one uh, coding courses, right? Uh, for starting from the youngest ages all the way up to anyone who likes to code, right? Uh, so we have several uh, levels, uh, beginner, intermediate, and advanced. Uh, most of the beginner level will be uh, somewhat like making games or making animations uh, using Scratch. And we have intermediate and advanced where you will be actually learning a programming language. So this is like... Uh, uh, a demo to showcase like uh, what is possible with it, right? Uh, so you, this is more like an interactive. You can ask questions about the program as well as uh, you all also can see uh, what type of knowledge you will gain from those courses. Okay, so you all of y'all are free to ask any question at any moment, regardless of uh, what's happening today. Okay. All right. Uh, how many of you all have used Scratch? Can I get anyone just telling, typing me on the chat? If anyone has used Scratch before, the screen that you're looking at. Yes, okay. Someone, we have one new one. What about the others? Okay. We have not a lot of new people. That's, that's really good. Okay, anyway, I'll give a small uh, brief introduction. Now, when it comes to coding, uh, we you will normally use a particular programming language to write code. Uh, but for a beginner, it might not be very ideal. Uh, sometimes it can be confusing. So a very famous university uh, called MIT, uh, if you all have heard about it, has come up with this platform called Scratch, uh, which is actually allowing you to code uh, using blocks. Instead of writing a uh, code, you can use these uh, blocks to create your code, right? Just like your, if, for example, if you take a building block, you are able to uh, create some figure or a structure, right? Similarly, uh, using these coding blocks, you are able to create programs, right? So that is the Scratch platform. Uh, you all, all, you all can have a look at it uh, as well. You will just need to sign up, and you are good to go. It's free. It's totally free. You don't have to pay anything for that. But it's very, very powerful and useful. Okay. So just to uh, show you a demo we are actually going to create a, a flappy bird today anyone heard about the game flappy bird yes okay some of you all say yes some of you all say no anyway uh, so flappy bird is a, a kind of a game uh, let me just uh, maybe show you one of them you all might have seen this uh, game like this where you take a bird which goes through different pipes and if you are able to pass a pipe uh, you get a score right a very simple game but uh, it was very addicting that uh, many people uh, used to play this uh, we are gonna create an exact a copy of this game, right? Within a, a matter of minutes uh, to show you what is possible through coding, okay? Uh, it is okay that if you don't understand certain uh, blocks here, uh, the goal here is to show you that uh, what is possible uh, if you get into one of our uh, coding courses. That means if you do register for our coding courses, we will be teaching you personally uh, 
each and every bit of these right and how you can create your own games uh, by the end of the course right then you will slowly slowly if you keep continuing you will be able to use an actual programming language and create actual games and also other programs right so today is as i said earlier it's going to be more like a showcase so just follow up look at uh, just under try to understand what is possible here right and if you are interested further then uh, you can sign up with us all right okay but I, I, it's not like it's not going to be me i'm actually going to uh, get you in uh, to help me out to create this game okay so be very uh, active you can talk to me anything you can unmute your mics ask questions as much you want uh, we, we are going to do this together uh, so let's begin okay right so when you open up scratch and you click on create uh, this takes you to this beautiful editor where you are going to do your coding right this is the place that the coding takes place right so on your left i'm just going to introduce certain sections on your left is where you find all the blocks right these are your blocks right so you can see there are blocks here you can drag them and drop them to your uh, editor right this is the area where you drag and put blocks and you can get things done right and there are several blocks okay not only for one thing you can use blocks to do uh, different stuff and you can also remove the blocks by dragging it back to the uh, block space right so these are some of the types of blocks uh, you all don't need to worry about what these are now because you will be learning uh, them uh, separately right this is just to show you as an intro here okay uh, just to uh, introduce for people who are not uh, aware of like how a block works uh, now there is a character here on your right can you see a character is called a sprite okay uh, normally it's called a sprite uh, you can actually give any names as you want uh, and we will uh, code each sprite to do something now for example i click on my uh, character here uh, then i go to one of the code blocks category uh, we normally start with uh, something called events right and this is the very first block that we would generally use that is when the flag is clicked that is they are referring to this green flag uh, this is the go or the run flag when you click this your program will start to run you can see it's highlighted as go so if i click go something should happen but when i click right now nothing happens because we haven't added any just to show you how it works for example say uh, i want when i click this let's say i want him to uh, say something okay i want him to show something then uh, what we can do is we can ask him to uh, tell a message right or say something okay so i would say to say hello for two seconds see i'm gonna drag that block and put it that is what i just did drag it and put it and i can type my message here uh, i'm gonna say welcome uh, to the utopia okay right and when i run this i'm gonna say it for two seconds let's just increase it a bit maybe for five seconds okay and i when i click go did you all see what happened all right for five seconds it's gonna show that message so that's how normally blocks work right okay now let's start to uh, do the game from scratch so we are developing something called uh, similar to flappy bird so the idea of the game is uh, there is a character which is uh, going to fly uh, through some obstacles if you knock on obstacle that is game over but if you pass an obstacle and keep moving your score will keep increasing right so that is a very simple game so we are going to do that uh, in the minutes we have 
right? So the first thing that we need is a background, okay? We need to have a nice background. Now this looks very plain white. So let's just start adding some colors. So in Scratch, if you want to put any uh, background, we have to go to backdrop. That is another name for background. So I'm going to that space, right? Uh, meanwhile, uh, is my screen clear to everyone? Do you all want me to zoom in, zoom out anything? Can you like zoom in a bit because it's too small? All uh, right, okay. Thank you so much. For, you all can speak, okay? How about now? A bit more. Okay, is this better? Yes, sir. All right. You can ask me anything, okay? You just tell me what to do and I'll help you out. Okay, now I think that's uh, clear. Right, so I go to backdrop. Now I'm gonna add a color to this, right? So when you want to add a color, you have to first uh, convert this to bitmap, right? So I'm gonna convert it to bitmap and then I'm gonna pick a color from here. Uh, can anyone suggest me a color? Yes. What color would you all like me to pick? Blue, okay. Blue came first, so I'm gonna pick blue. Uh, slightly like, is this blue good? Yep. Yep, okay, there you go. Okay, so I have picked blue as the color, right? Okay, we'll go back to our code now, okay? Uh, that's yeah, teal. Someone wanted teal. Okay, but let let's assume it's uh, all blue here, right? So blue now. Here we are done. So our background is done. Now the stage is set. Now we need our character. Okay. So in Scratch, you can upload your own character. You can create your own character, or even you can pick a character from the character galleries or the sprite gallery. So if you want to pick a, a, a character, I told you the name given to characters in Scratch is Sprite. Okay, not the drinking Sprite, right? Uh, this is just another name for Sprite. But if you look up it on uh, uh, Google, you'll find uh, the meaning, right? So if you want to add any Sprites, you have to click this uh, button over here. If you hover over it, you will get this uh, pop-up. So you can choose a Sprite by searching. You can paint your own Sprite. You can uh, click surprise if you want to get a, a random one. Or if you can, you can upload as well. I'm gonna choose a Sprite from the existing library. Okay, I'm gonna click that. So it will load up a library. And here you can see, these are some of the Sprites that are available uh, on Scratch. Okay, there's a lot here, right? As you all can see, there's many here. I'm gonna pick up uh, a sprite uh, that looks appears to be flying. Probably I will take the cat who is flying. There's a flying cat. Uh, let me try it. Okay, there I go. This one. Okay. I'm gonna pick him as the sprite. So when you pick him, he will appear on your uh, visual here, right? I'm actually gonna make him a bit smaller. Uh, because uh, the game should appear a little bit uh, easier to navigate. So I'm going to change the size here. You can see over here, you will find all the properties that you can adjust. Uh, you can put a name. Uh, you can decide whether or not to show the size, uh, the direction. And this is the position, X and Y positions, right? Uh, so I'm going to change this to maybe uh, the size by reduce it by 50. So he has become small, right? I'm gonna place him here, All right? Okay, my cat is here, right? He is done. Now, my uh, idea is, your game is this cat will keep falling, okay? This cat is gonna keep falling and you're gonna use only one uh, key that is either by tapping on the screen, this cat will just keep flying upwards, right? So what I had to show initially is to code the cat to make sure that he keeps on falling down. Okay, let's see how we can do that. Okay, 
So to show the following cat, I'm going to click on the cat, right? Uh, go to my code block and start with the uh, event. When this go is clicked, what should I do, right? So I am going to uh, put him into a position first. I'm going to put him into a position like uh, I'm going to pick maybe over here. Let's start in from here. So the position is uh, minus 217 and 11. So I'm going to set that position. Okay, whenever you start the game, he will always start from that particular uh, position. Okay. So let's uh, put him here. Go to a minus 217 and 11. So always he's going to start from here. Right. Regardless whether you drag him here, if you click start, you can see even if you drag him, he will always come back to the same position. Okay. That is the first thing that we are going to do. Right. Then this cat needs to keep on falling like this. We have to show that animation. It's going to keep on falling. Right. Uh, to do that, uh, I will need to use something called a loop, right? A loop is something in programming uh, that shows it's going to keep on repeating uh, maybe forever or maybe until certain condition, right? Uh, for this game, I'm going to make it as forever because till the game is running, it's going to keep on falling down, right? So I'm going to use this forever block, right? And when I use it, what is going to happen here is uh, forever, he's going to keep falling down. So I'm going to change the motion, right? Uh, I'm going to say change the X value, right? Sorry, not X value, change the Y value, right? Change the Y uh, by, it should come down. So I had to put negative, change the Y by negative. Let's start with a very small value, negative five, okay? Now, when I run this, let's see what happens, okay? I'm going to click here. What do you all see? It's going to keep falling down, okay? All right? We'll bring him a little more to the front, uh, maybe by adjusting his uh, X value. Yeah, that's, that's more much better, right? So that is happening. So our idea is done. Now to make the game interactive, what I need is when I touch the screen or press a particular keyboard button, he should jump back. Okay, he should be jumping back. Like he will keep falling, but when you press a key, he's gonna jump back to show as if he's flying, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, uh, when a particular key is pressed, I'm going to change the Y by a certain value, right? So if you want to check a particular condition in programming, we have to use something called the if conditions, right? Later, when you are actually learning the concepts, you will get a deep understanding about it. But here, just simply, we would need to use the if block to make a decision based on that. So if something happens, what should you do? That is the idea of this if condition. So if a particular key or some event happens, so to do that, we have to click on sensing, all right? When you go to sensing, you will find certain like touching, uh, ask, uh, key presses and all, okay? So I'm gonna go with key press, okay? So if I press some key, what should happen? and I'm going to put it inside this block. Now, if you had noticed, I'm just going to put it back. These uh, blocks are in a particular shape, right? Can you see? Those shapes actually guide you where you can fit that. Now, if you check a look at this shape, which looks like a diamond, the blocks that you can fit also has the same shape. That means you can't fit this inside. See? These blocks cannot be fitted. Right? Or you can't fit this inside this. That is not allowed. Only the blocks that have the same uh, outline, you can, or the same shape can be fitted in. So same shape and you can see it's highlighting. I'm going to proceed. So if 
this key and you can select all the keys that are available on the keyboard here. So I'm just going to go with, uh, let's take up arrow, right? So if you press the keyboard up arrow, what should happen? So since he's keeping on falling, I'm going to, uh, if any of you press the up arrow key, I'm going to change his uh, Y. Okay, change the Y value uh, by 10, right? Increasing it by 10, so it's a positive value. Let's run this and try to understand what's happening here. So I'm pressing my uh, up arrow, can you see? You all can't see me pressing the arrow, but uh, as I'm pressing it, can you see the a cat is moving upwards, right? So I can control him now, okay? Clear? Any questions, guys? You all can ask questions anytime, right? Okay, so then I will take uh, the silence as a no. So my uh, game is almost 30% uh, uh, complete. So my cat is flying when I press uh, the go button and I can control the cat by pressing the up arrow key. So he's going upwards. And if I leave my up arrow key, he's gonna continue to fall down. So my aim is to keep him always on the fly. Okay, right.